Hi, Nick from T-Vape here, and today I have an interesting one for you. We're going to be taking a deep dive into the Venti Vaporizer, which is newly designed from Stores and Bickle. This ain't your dad's vape, because they didn't have vapes back then. All they had was shake that they used to smoke outside of bowling alleys and just pray that they weren't drafted to nom. But this thing is a game changer with cutting edge technology and vapor quality that is off the charts. There are a ton of cool new design features as well as a few areas where I think it could use some improvement. But before I dive into the Venti, if you want to know more about dry herb vaporizers, just search dry herb vaporizers T-Vape, which will bring you to our category page. This will let you know more about those types of devices and who they're for. But for now, I'm just going to get into the Venti itself. Operating the Venti is quite simple. It has a very user-friendly interface. You can adjust the temperature without any advanced knowledge. So if you have an electrical engineering degree or a PhD in advanced physics, that won't be necessary here. But congratulations, your mother and I are very proud of you. To start, make sure you're ready for your session. If this is your first time using the Venti, like all devices, don't forget to charge it 100% before you use it. Then get your favorite dry herb ready or your second favorite. To be honest, you could actually despise the herb that you choose to use. It doesn't matter to me. I don't know why you would do that, but it's completely up to you. The next step is to fill the chamber. Unscrew the cooling unit at the top to expose the chamber. Put in your dry herb, then place the cooling unit back. Press the power button and the venti will turn on. Then you just use the up and down arrows to adjust the temperature. Once the device vibrates and the LED screen lights up green, you are good to go. Also, a side note, when I vibrate and light up green, I am also good to go. Before you start inhaling, there are a few more things to consider. The venti features a wheel on the side which helps you to change the airflow. If it's fully opened, you will get a massive 20 liters of air per minute. Don't know what 20 liters of air per minute means? Well, if it helps, try to picture 40 500 milliliter bottles of water, but instead of water, it's actually air. Did that clear anything up for you? Because it actually, if I'm being honest, confused me more. It's a lot of air is what the point that I'm getting at is. Additionally, the Venti is included in the Stores and Bickle app, which does give you a bunch of different options for customization. The Venti can handle a normal range of temperatures. It's nothing extraordinary, but when it comes to accuracy, that's where it shines. It's not always about the heat. Sometimes it's about hitting that sweet spot. That's what she said. The Venti allows you to choose from three temperature settings with great precision thanks to advanced airflow. Simply put, it's similar to the Mighty in the temperature ranges, but more precise. Sure, it might not climb to the scorching peaks of some models, but it is the Everest when it comes to precision. Or the Mauna Kea, which is technically a taller mountain than Everest, but half of it's underwater. I googled that. It's not funny. It has nothing to do with the Venti, but sometimes, you know what, it's just nice to have a little fact that you can drop on people. You know, you can say to people, hey, did you know that the, the Mauna Kea is actually a taller mountain than Everest, but half of it's underwater? That's why Everest gets most of the attention. And they can say, who are you? Where did you come from? Why are you talking about mountains? You're scaring my children. The temperature range stretches from a cozy 180 degrees Celsius to a toasty 210. Now, you can also use the Stores and Bickle app to adjust the temperature even more to as low as 40 degrees Celsius, although it does seem that 210 degrees Celsius is the ceiling, so that might be a bummer for some. That's disappointing. Not a huge bummer, by the way. Think of all the different types of bummers you've experienced in your life. Well, this is more of a the fast food restaurant forgot to put ketchup in your bag level bummer, not the finding out years later that the person you had a crush on in high school also had a crush on you level bummer. Prepare yourself for a vapor journey, if you will, with the Venti. It doesn't just puff out little clouds of vapor, it provides thick, dense clouds of vapor that are second to none. Also, its airflow could fill sails at 20 liters per minute. That analogy was much better than my water bottle analogy from before. I probably should have led with it. 
That's the only regret that I have in my life. The Venti sets the gold standard for airflow capabilities. It's clear to me that Stores and Bickle wanted to pump out the best vapor quality possible with the Venti. They wanted to pump out the best vapor quality the fastest they possibly could. And let me just tell you, they accomplished that goal. When you set your mind to something, you can accomplish anything. That's how we landed on the moon, created nonstick frying pans, and freed Brittany. If you like inhaling vapor directly into your lungs, then you are gonna love the Venti. It is designed to give you a satisfying experience quickly. It has two screens which provide extra filtration and prevent unwanted particles from reaching your mouth. The only real downside is the cooling unit, which is made mostly of plastic. It's safe to use, but it can leave a very slight but noticeable taste in your mouth. But that is something that I am quite familiar with myself as I have used the Mighty quite a bit. Let's talk craftsmanship with the Venti, because this thing isn't just assembly, it is artistry. It is built like a tank, and it is designed to endure the long haul. This thing could survive 10 rounds with Mike Tyson, a trip to Mars, and Thanksgiving dinner with your in-laws. It's made mostly from a high-grade plastic, which is pretty tough. It's known as peak material, famous for being able to take the heat without losing its cool. So am I, by the way. That's actually the first line on my resume. Takes the heat, doesn't lose its cool. It's the only line on my resume. I'm between jobs a lot. This vaporizer is a fortress, safeguarding your sessions from all the wear and tear of high temperatures. While it's built primarily for performance, you have to admit it doesn't look that visually appealing. In fact, you might say that it looks like a taser from the 80s which actually some people might find cool. Overall, it seems that the Venti was built with one goal in mind, to provide you with the absolute best vapor quality. And I don't know, maybe I'm focusing too much on how it looks. It's kind of ugly, and whenever I think something's ugly, I just say it out loud. That's probably why I don't have a lot of close friends. <laughs> it's a really good vapor quality, though. Let's talk portability. It's not that portable. You can see it, it's pretty big. I mean, it's technically portable. It's not like a desk or something. You can bring it around with you, but you should think about it like an oversized suitcase at the airport. You know, when you have to go up to the woman behind the desk and get a special little tag to put on it while she gives you a dirty look, then you have to bring it to a part of the airport you didn't even know existed and give it to another guy who when he takes it from you, he's clearly silently judging you. Well, it's not quite like that, but it's big and it's bold and it's not exactly the type of device that you just bring around town. It's about two and a half Zeus arc units in volume and about 1.7 times the volume of the Utilian 722. So think of it more like a coffee table book as opposed to a paperback novel. It's the oversized suitcase coffee table book of vaporizers. Is that making it clear? Did I, did I demonstrate enough through my words how big this thing is? All right, look, I'll do one more analogy. Have you seen The Whale with Brendan Fraser? That, it's that big. This isn't the vape that you pocket on your way out the door. It's a centerpiece on your coffee table. It's a conversation starter at a friend's party. The Venti has presence with its bulky design and it's not gonna fly under the radar. But if you wanna choose flavor over portability, this is absolutely the way to go. But you might wanna keep a smaller sidekick available for any of those out and about sessions. The battery life caught my attention as soon as I saw it. It's like the Venti went on a tech diet, slimming down the battery size without losing out on the stamina. Sure, it's got 10% less capacity than the Mighty Plus, but don't let that fool you. This thing will go the distance thanks to its efficient design. And the warm-up? It's faster than making instant noodles, and those things literally claim to be instant. If they're not careful, they might run into a subway, the foot-long sandwiches aren't actually a foot-long type of situation. It heats up in just 20 seconds. You won't get a supercharger in the box, but you can use regular USB-C chargers in order to charge it. It'll be a little more leisurely though. If you do get a supercharger, which I highly recommend, you can get to about 80% capacity in just 40 minutes, which makes it a nice stay at home device that's always ready to go. As a side note, my first time using it, I did have a bit of trouble 
getting it to charge. It was plugged in, it looked like it was charging, but it wasn't actually taking a charge. Then what it turned out had to happen was you had to hold the power button down for 10 seconds, which reset it and then allowed it to turn on. I'm only telling you that right now. I ran into that problem. I don't wanna see you guys go through it. So if you're having trouble, you plug it in, it doesn't seem like it's charging, give that power button a hold for 10 seconds. That should reset the unit and it should be good to go. Let's talk user friendliness because nobody wants to wrestle with their vaporizer. Something I would like to address quickly. I was extremely happy that there were no nooks and crannies for herb to fall into, which is something that I was very annoyed with with the Mighty. So say goodbye to poking around tiny crevices with a Q-tip. The Venti's sleek design means that you will spend way less time cleaning. And you can use that time to clean something else. Seriously, the dishes are piling up. It's disgusting. You were raised better than this. Your mother and I are very disappointed in you. Whether you're going pod free or not, the Venti's got you covered with a design that's very straightforward and easy to use. And if you do decide to use pods, well that just makes it that much easier when you're on the go. They're not quite as convenient as the autopod loading system that we've seen on the Zeus Arc GT3, but they will still make on-the-go use that much simpler. As I briefly touched upon, the Venti isn't very subtle. It's got the subtlety of an Italian guy eating frozen pizza. He's big, he's animated, and he won't stop talking about how much better his Nona used to make it. The point is you're not gonna be able to go incognito with this thing. With its bulky, solid design, it's like toting around a mini flashlight in your jeans. Or are you just happy to see me? I want to apologize for that last one. It doesn't just sit there quietly. It's a conversation starter. It's a piece that says, yeah, I vape and I love it. Which might make your friends go, yeah, I like vaping too. And you'll say, no, I love it. And then they'll say, oh, look at the time. It's getting late. It's got presence. So if you're looking for a vape that serves as a conversation piece for those laid back sessions when you're sitting on your couch, the Venti is your hero. Let's shift gears here and cruise into the overall vibe of the Venti. The Venti is like the new turbocharged convertible of the vape world. It's where power meets finesse. The airflow tech under the hood, nothing short of revolutionary. It's like having your own personal climate control for your vape, which will ensure that every draw is silky and smooth. When it comes to its size, it's not exactly pocket ready. It's more like a statement piece that demands its own space, but to you connoisseurs out there who want a premium experience, this is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to add to your collection. With a premium experience, however, it comes at a premium cost. So if you're more budget conscious, this might not be the device for you. But if you have cash to spend and you're looking for the highest possible output, then the Venti is exactly what you're looking for. And that's it for my review of the Venti. Did I leave anything out? Do you have any questions? Why don't you leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video or subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it when you do that. I'm Nick from T-Vape. You can subscribe to my channel on YouTube at Nick Beaton Comedy. Thanks so much for checking us out. We really appreciate it. And to all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.